Okay, so this video is for people who are uh, wanting to make a uh, tail or something on their avatar with Avastar and Blender. And uh, basically, we're going to start out with a brand new file here. First of all, we're going to delete this cube. And then we're going to uh, make sure we have the latest version of Avastar installed. And I've got version 2.78 of Blender. And Avastar, I believe I have... Um, I have version 2.0.22 so I believe that's the latest version and so what we're going to do right now is we're going to add uh, an Avastar extended rig that's the bento rig okay we'll wait till that loads Okay, and since I hate these things, I mean, they're nice, but I don't really use them that much. I like the original um, Blender stuff, so I'm going to go into object mode and change these things. Uh, where is that again? Let's see. <coughs> Okay, here we go. Stick shapes. Custom shapes is for, uh, you know, if you want those IK movements, I guess. Uh, stick shapes is what I want. And then uh, let's go to Avastar tab. Go to rig display. And we'll uh, change this to octahedral because I like that. And let's go ahead and uh, save this really quick. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to enable uh, deform bones here. Those are the extra bones that we're going to need. And then uh, let's go ahead and make a tail. So we'll just go ahead and add a mesh, just a cube. turn x-ray on so we can see what's going on and I'll size it down move it uh, right about here okay and let's go ahead and add on a modifier actually before we do that let me just finish making the extruding the tail here so I'm going to go into face select, select that face, just give it a couple extrusions. Actually, let's size it down each time we go here. and actually make this larger and oops what am I doing? oh there we go alright now I make this larger and I'll pull this one in now you know we can do a subdivision surface modifier and I'll pull this in a bit more <coughs> there we go alright so that's, that's a good tail right nothing too impressive but simple enough to work with okay so I'm gonna save this again Okay, right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that tail is bound to the um, armature. So let's go ahead and do that right now. 
that I just use with automatic weights. And now uh, what you want to do is for every part you add in um, a, a Blender with, in Avastar, um, basically you want to make sure that you're you're not taking up as you know um, your vertex groups are only the ones that you're going to be using for the bones so each bone has a vertex group for influence purposes so we're just basically going to remove all the ones except the tail bones Oops. So if you were making wings, for instance, you would remove everything except the wing bones. <clears throat> so it's the same difference uh, depending on which part you're, you're making for the avatar. You only want those uh, vertex groups in the, um, the uh, part, the model that's being used. So this is the tail model, so we're only, uh, tail object, excuse me, so we're only using the tail vertex groups. So if I was making a wing um, object, I would only use the wing vertex groups. And I would totally recommend auto, automatic um, weights, like what I, I just did there. Uh, so that way you have the weights automatically done there. See, so if I go into pose mode, and I select these bones here you can see they're automatically done for me so I don't have to sit there and go oh is this right or is that wrong now some people get a uh, <laughs> problem with oh I can't move the bones you know even if they go into this is where I had a problem even if they go into the um, pose mode especially if you go into pose mode you can't I mean look at that it's like what <laughs> right so the way to get around this is you go into skin mode and you stay in there, right? And um, then you go down here and you go to rig config and you basically select all your bones and you just hit enable on all these things. And I think that's the one, yeah enable 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 right so now you're able to move these things see so next step is animating this thing and it doesn't look like we got the whole thing you know that could be better um, but yeah it looks like we're ready to animate so actually you know before we do that I'm just gonna wait paint this real quickly I need my weight paint tools. There we go. We're going to add Come on. There we go. Yeah, sometimes it helps to do the Z key. So, this is uh maybe a bit too much you know maybe we need another maybe we need another bone or another object in there so I'm just gonna go ahead and add one there we go and then uh, make sure that has no influence Probably don't need to do that, but I'm going to do that just in case. There we go. Hmm. Well, weight painting is a uh, pain in the butt, so <laughs> you want to make sure you know how to weight paint. I'm not the best at weight painting, obviously. So, um, let me just see if I can get this working good here. 
Whoa. Yeah, I was better off over there. Hmm. Uh, subtract. There we go. Now it's kind of working the way I want it to work. There we go. See, that's kind of how I want it to work, actually. Then you can do multi-paint, so you paint through your, um, through the whole darn thing. There, that's definitely better. We'll go with that. All right, so next up is our, um, animation. So we'll show you that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. First of all, let's get out of weight paint mode, back to, uh, let's go to pose mode with these things. Let's get out of this mode. Okay, there we go. And let's change our frames to something like 40 frames because we don't need that many. All right, so we'll be back. Actually, you know what? Let's change it to 60 frames. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save it. And we'll be back. Okay, right, so the very next thing we want to do is animate this thing. So what we want to do is select, first of all, all the bones that we don't, that we want to have an influence in the first frame, which is just the tail bones. And then we want to insert uh, location and rotation information there. And then at the end, we want it to end up back so I'll do that again at the end. Now let's have it uh, lower and raise, basically. So we'll do a very simple animation. Um, let's see, 40, we'll go to 40. Actually, you know what, we'll do 30, because that's half a 60. So I'm gonna insert location rotation, hide this bone, oops. Hide the bones you don't need. You can always Alt H to unhide them. So I don't need these bones. I'm going to hide them. Yeah, there we go. All right, great. So let's see. This looks like a good. Uh... All right, so we'll just do that. Keep it simple, right? So now when we play the animation, the tail is wagging. Okay, great. Now let's um, translate that into Second Life. Very easy to do. So let's go ahead and save this. Alrighty, so next thing we're going to do is try to export the tail. So we just right click on the tail and then go to File, Export, Collada. Now, if you get this message, um, don't worry because it basically is saying, oh, there it went off the screen. But uh, here, I'll show it to you again. Uh, if I could keep it on the screen. There you go. Your mesh is broken. Please fix eight verts with a weight sum of zero and cube. So basically all that means is you have a weight painting problem on those uh, vertex groups. So all you got to do is make sure that you have at least, you know, something over zero for your weights. So uh, you didn't do anything wrong. It's just that it's the process is not complete. So we gotta. I'm gonna increase my brush size, and then take the strength down to basically anything over zero, so 0 0.01 or you know, and uh, just go to the very first um, vertex group and make sure it's you know 0 0.01 weight, you know all the blue basically, and then the second one, and then the third one, and then the fourth one, because it can't handle zero weight. So even though it's blue, it's like look, <laughs> we can't handle this. So now all these are over zero. So everything has weight to it. Basically, you can't have any any weights with zero. Um, so just keep in mind that. Um, now, if you export, um, oh, I still have a problem. Well, that should have fixed it. Uh, let's see here. Let's go back. Oh, I'm on subtract. My bad. Let's add. <laughs> Okay, right. Oh, we got too much weight there. So all I want is 0 0.01 on each one of these. Oh. All right.
right, now that should do it. So if we go to object mode and we export this, there you go. So it'll work now. <clears throat> so I'm just going to save this. And now we can go ahead and export it. So uh, make sure you uh, right click on all your, you know, select all your body parts. Then go to File, Export, Collada Avastar, and then just hit uh, Export. Okay, now we're going to go to Second Life. And actually, before that, before we do that, let's go ahead and save the animation. So just go to the animation daily bopper. Where are you, animation daily bopper? Let's see here. Probably need to go to pose mode. Sorry, guys. Give me a sec. <clears throat> yeah, there we go. Just go to pose mode. Then you can export your animation. Uh, make sure you have a BVH for exporting. And we'll do test six. Okay, now we'll go to Second Life and upload it. Okay, so I've got the default uh, female avatar here. And let's go ahead and upload the one we made. So we'll go ahead and upload that. Okay, so now we can see the tails way down there. Well, if we click on skin weights, then we can see everything sort of works. Um, and then include textures. If we didn't have any textures, generate normals. Make sure you te uh, check that. I'm going to change the name of this to test six. Um, we don't have any textures, so I'll just include anyway. Make sure you check these two, otherwise it won't work. And lock scale, I'm not sure what that means, so I'm going to leave that alone. And just go ahead and up, uh, calculate weights and fees. And upload. Now if you click on joints, you can see the additional bones that you're not using. Just wanted to show you that. Uh, go ahead and upload it. Okay, now we can go ahead and add it. And it's not going to look right um, because the avatar is not invisible. But if you were doing a custom avatar mesh, you'd want to hide the uh, default Second Life um, avatar. Anyways, um, so now we're going to upload the animation we made. Okay, we'll go ahead and loop it, give it a high priority. And as you can see, it's working pretty well. Uh, we didn't do a great white painting job, it looks like, but th these things can be fixed later. But for the most part, you can see the tail is working. It is animating. And pretty much we got this thing to work. So hooray. So that is how you animate additional parts for your avatar in Blender and Avastar for now, for the most part, from what I've figured out. Uh, so yeah, that's the end of this video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever, dislike, I don't care. <laughs> okay, so that's the end. Hope it helped anybody.